Okay. Recognizing exceptions to the octet rule. Recognizing exceptions to the octet rule. Uh, before we begin, actually, let me let me come just a minute here. Let me come here and say let's go before we begin let's say what the rules are recognizing the exceptions to the octet rule okay so the first exception is whoa 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 just a second here Ex whoa wait a second just a second here markers Going crazy on me. I think I got it fixed here. Expanded. <laughs> Sorry. Expanded octet. What does that mean? An expanded octet. That means that you can have more than eight, more than eight electrons in the outer shell, and that's for elements. With access to d orbitals. In other words, n is equal to three or more. Okay, so they've got to be in the third period or more, where n is equal to three. So don't forget now. Let me come back over here and get a different color. Okay, here. Man, I'm really sorry. And it's a little lowercase n is equal to one. All the elements in this row, n is equal to two. The elements in this row have access to a third shell, okay? So, uh, which is, um, oh, I don't know, right? It starts aluminum, aluminum, silicon, selenium, phosphorus, something like that, right? So those guys can have an expanded octet, all right? Now, what's the next one? The next one it is electro-positive elements. I'm just reading to Alex to you right now, okay? This is what Alex says, electro-positive elements. There's number one. Here's number two. These green dots are way bad spaced, okay? Uh, and and electropositive elements are going to be elements like, oh, I don't know, beryllium, boron, and aluminum, right? Beryllium, boron, and aluminum. And they might have they might have less than eight. Less than eight electrons. Okay, they might have less than eight. Okay, let's go back over here now and say another um, another uh, exception to the octet rule might be if you have an odd number of electrons, an odd number of valence electrons, right? So an, exa an example of that might be nitric oxide. So if you're gonna try to draw the Lewis structure for nitric oxide, well, there's only f there's five in this guy's outer shell and six in that, so there's eleven. You you cannot get eight in both guy in both of these guys' shell. Okay, okay, it's not possible. All right, and then the the uh, the last possibility is having too few electrons. Too few electrons. If you don't have enough electrons, then you can't have the octet rule satisfied. And so. Uh, an example of that might be uh, the methylene or the methyl cation, right? So there's just not enough electrons in here. There's only six valence electrons in here, and so you cannot get uh, the octet rule. So these are the, you can't get eight electrons in the outer shell. So these are the exceptions to the octet rule, the rules for it. I guess I should add one more. One more, which is just going to have, and that's if it's in N is equal to one. So if n is equal to one, then you're, you're dealing with hydrogen up here and helium there, and they don't they don't ever have uh, their octet satisfied, right? Because they don't have their outer shell doesn't have room for eight electrons. Okay, outer shell, which is one, is uh, no room 
four, eight electrons. Okay, so those are the uh, those are the, the octet exceptions. Alex gives you these four. I'm only adding this other one just because it's well, you probably it's probably obvious, but just in case it's not, I add it. N is equal to one. That is hydrogen and helium. They don't have any. They don't have room for eight electrons in the outer shell. All right, so let's go back here now. Now let's look at these. Now let's look at this OCl2. This is the proposed Lewis structure, and the question is, is this a reasonable structure or not? Just better go here. Is this a reasonable structure or not? So let's look at this. Chlorine has eight electrons in its outer shell. That's okay. Oxygen has eight electrons in its outer shell. That's okay. And that has eight electrons in its outer shell, so that's okay. So they have the right number of electrons. Well, chlorine brings in seven, plus oxygen brings in six. This chlorine brings in seven. So that's going to be 20 total, right? I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So that's good. All right? So I think this is a reasonable structure, but I'm going to just, before I go on, I'm going to look down here. Note, no, the, to um, the total number of valence electrons is wrong. It's not that. We have the right number. The correct number is blank. We already have it. No, some of the atoms have the wrong number of electrons around them. No, we got that. So we're good. This is it. Okay? All right, let's look at this one. NH2+. plus. All right, so let's look at uh, how many electrons they bring in. So nitrogen's in group 5 and hydrogen's in group 1. One and one, so there's seven electrons, uh, but it's missing one, right? So it's seven minus one, which is equal to six. And do I have six electrons here? Two, four, six, yes. So it's, it's I have the right number of valence electrons, it's not that one, I have the right number. Um, and so the, ne the next question is, is it okay? Well, wait a second. Hydrogen is in group one, and it's got eight electron. It's got four electrons in its outer shell. So this one's only got two. That's fine. Nitrogen's got too few, but you know, if we don't have enough electrons, that's maybe okay, right? That's one of our exceptions. It's got too few, but this one's got too many. Ah, no. Some atoms have the wrong number of electrons around them. The, sim the symbols of the problem atoms are hydrogen. Okay. All right, let's keep going. So bromine, iodine, and bromine. So I'm um, getting a phone call here. Getting a phone call, I'm gonna take it. Uh, I'll be right with you. Hello, hey Scott. Super, look forward to seeing you. Oh yeah, no trouble, no trouble, bye-bye. All right, Bar beg your pardon, so all right. Now, um, let's, let's move on now. Bromine brings in seven, iodine brings in seven, and bromine brings in seven, right? So it's 21. Ah, but it's got a minus on it, plus one, okay? So it's 22 electrons. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So it's got the right number of electrons. We're gonna say, no, it's not that. Now we're gonna say, does everything uh, have its octet filled? So here's bromine. Bromine's in the third period, um, and it's got eight electrons in its outer shell. That's fine. Here's the other bromine looks the same. I'll do iodine last. That's fine. Iodine, wait, okay. So iodine looks like it's got two, four, six, eight, ten 10 electrons in its outer shell, but it can have an expanded octet, right? Looking back over here. It can have an expanded octet, right? Because iodine's down here, okay? So yes, that is okay. All right, so let's go here and say, yes, it's fine. This is a reasonable structure. All right, so I recommend that you get those rules out in front of you as you're doing this, at least for the first few times. Ultimately, of course, you're gonna have to be doing it, you're gonna have to do it on a quiz or exam without those rules in front of you, but to go back and review those rules each time is really a great way to learn this material. So, uh, and of course, doing these questions is a, is a fabulous way. So, all right, hope that's helpful. We'll move on to the, to the next uh, topic.